Coming fresh on the heels of the season two premiere for House of the Dragon, we got another Game of Thrones spinoff that just got a big update, a big announcement, including that one, they've began filming, and two, some more cast members have been revealed. Game of Thrones official Twitter account put this out. Set a century before Game of Thrones, the new HBO original drama series, A Night of the Seven Kingdoms, is now in production, coming soon to Max. And the first image we get is not only the first image we have from production, the first still, but it's also the first look we have at Sir Duncan the Tall. Now, it was a few months ago when the cast for the two lead characters was officially announced. Game of Thrones prequel, Night of the Seven Kingdoms cast, Peter Claffrey and Dexter Soul Ansel in lead role. So obviously on the left, you've got the guy who's going to play Sir Duncan the Tall. And on the right, you've got the person who's going to play Aegon Targaryen, better known as Egg. And this duo, of course, if you're familiar with the source material, better known as Dunk and Egg. And if, if you don't know what this is derived from, uh, the Dunk and Egg novels are, they're a little bit shorter stories set in the Song of Ice and Fire world. They take place, like it said, around 100 years before the events that happen in Game of Thrones. Now, if you want to compare it to House of the Dragon, this takes place probably around 90 or 100 years after the events of what we're witnessing go on right now for House of the Dragon. And it revolves around a hedge knight, Sir Duncan the Tall, who happens upon this young boy who had his head shaved, who he has no idea who he is, takes him on as his squire, ends up being Aegon Targaryen. But a lot of people, rightly so, are very excited to see this come to live action because they are really loved, even though even though these short stories maybe aren't as well known as what we got for A Song of Ice and Fire, the mainline series. A lot of people still want to see these stories come to life. The only problem is, just like so many things in this world, George has not finished writing all these books yet. There's three books that are currently published in this series, and it looks like each season is going to take on one of the books. For this season, they're looking at six episodes, and I think that's that's appropriate. I don't think you should try to stretch it out to eight or ten. I think six episodes can absolutely get the job done, but we also got our first look at some different cast members. Game of Thrones prequel A Night of the Seven Kingdoms adds Finn Bennett and four more to cast. And this is a good breakdown right here from Redanian Intelligence. New cast of A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. Finn Bennett is playing Arion Targaryen, who you tend to have two different types of Targaryens that exist in this world. There's, of course, some people that are in between. You either have people that are, you know, truly nice and humble and, you know, people who would make great leaders and such. And then you have the asshole Targaryens, right? Well, Arion Targaryen, definitely one of those asshole Targaryens, at least when we meet him in this novel. Baylor Targaryen, Baylor Breaks Spear, Hand of the King, Protector of the Realm, Prince of Dragonstone, the heir to the Iron Throne. Baylor Targaryen, this is a dude that is so well looked upon and typically in A Song of Ice and Fire, those people don't come to very good ends, do they? But you've also got Tanzen Crawford, who plays Tanzel. This is uh, someone who gets involved, who Dunk steps in to protect at one point and gets him in a whole lot of shit. You've also got Lionel Baratheon here, played by Daniel Ings. And Sam Spruill plays Makar Targaryen. Makar Targaryen, a fourth son, who never really planned on being someone that would inherit the Iron Throne. But as so often happens in Westeros, sometimes those people end up in positions they never imagined they would be. He's also the father of Aegon Targaryen. So some exciting news that, you know, it is coming out in 2025. They've began production for people that are still invested in this world. And I think with House of the Dragon, we've seen, despite the bad taste that the last season, last few seasons of Game of Thrones left in people's mouths, there's still a hunger out there for great storytelling within this universe. A lot of people hoping that's what we get from a Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. First still we get... I think he looks good as a as a poor hedge knight as Sir Duncan the Tall. Hopefully the hopefully they can live up to the same type of quality storytelling that we've come to expect from House of the Dragon throughout the first season and one episode and get more on the screen for people that are fans of George R. R. Martin's work and want to see it come to life. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. I think, you know, pretty much these, uh, the, the, I like the castings. I think they're very spot on. Uh, Tancel is uh, Dornish, if I remember right. I, I could barely remember who it was at first, but once I saw him like that, that has to be the person that uh, Duncan kind of steps in to help at one point. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.